in this lecture we are going to learn about if two line segments given line segments do they intersect okay so you will be given like this point p1 and p2 point p3 and p4 you just have to find if this one is a line segment and p3 p4 is the line segment do they intersect if they are parallel they will not intersect p1 p2 p3 p4 but because this is a line segment even if they are not parallel they might not intersect so p1 p2 p3 p4 so you have to find how to solve this problem okay so if we see this so we find one thing okay if i know that what is the direction of uh, let's say p3 with respect to p1 p2 okay and what is the direction of p4 with respect to p1 p2 okay so what is the direction means what angle is it making so if it is counter clockwise and for p3 and it is clockwise for p4 then it means yeah they are on the opposite side and there is a chance that they will intersect okay so that is the case but uh, this is also what we consider we have p3 p4 okay so this is the segment and then we need to check is p2 so what direction is p2 so it's there on the counter clockwise and p1 is clockwise okay so they both are on the opposite directions so if for both of them okay so p3 and p4 are on the opposite directions of line segment p1 p2 and p1 and p2 are on the opposite direction of p3 p4 then we are sure that okay these points will intersect what happens now that if i say that okay for p1 p2 okay so let's see even if one was crossing doesn't it intersect so let's talk about this case so here what is happening so for p1 p3 p4 both the points uh, this this one p for p3 p4 p1 is counter clockwise and your p2 okay is clockwise but what happens okay so uh, let's try to remove this now okay so let's remove this now what we do if we have p3 p4 and then we want to see for p1 with respect to p1 p2 what are the angles so this is also in a direction so p1 p2 so same direction it's going here and this one also going in the same direction so they both are on the same directions and you see that they both these two segments they do not intersect okay so the thing is they should both both the points p3 p4 should be on the opposite side of p1 p2 and p1 p2 should be on opposite sides of p4 p3 or opposite direction okay so this is important and okay so p1 p2 p4 and p3 again they are on the same side okay and p1 p2 are also on the same side of p3 p4 so this is the case so now we write the algorithm so this is there so what are the cases they intersect and another point which we didn't consider is if that is on the line okay so p1 p2 p2 might be on the line of p3 p4 so then also they will intersect okay so we have to cover all these but okay so in this case we have to consider p1 p2 in this case again f for revision we can say that okay in this if you try to find for p3 p4 p1 is also in counterclockwise and p2 is also in the counterclockwise okay so they are they will not intersect okay so this is the case here also they will not intersect why with respect to p1 p2 this is counterclockwise and this is also counterclockwise so they will not intersect okay they both are in the same directions so now what should be the code like okay so we have a segment intersect so we have the points p1 p2 for the first segment p3 p4 for the next segment we have the direction okay direction gives us if it is counterclockwise then it will be positive okay and if it's basically the signs will be different okay 
so dir d1 is there d2 is there and d3 is for the direction of p3 with respect to p1 p2 d4 is the direction of p4 with respect to p1 p2 so we find the four directions and how we find that so again we use the cross product okay so if we have let's say dir we call with p3 p4 and p1 it means we are trying to find the direction of p1 with respect to p3 p4 okay so this direction we are trying to find is it counter clockwise or clockwise depending on that it will be less than zero greater than zero okay so now we find all the directions and the important thing is that d1 so if it is let's say this one p3 p4 p1 p2 the thing is now first thing we are calculating d1 so d1 is nothing but direction of p1 with respect to p3 p4 so that is clockwise okay and direction so d1 is clockwise and so this is d1 and then you have p2 so p2 will be counter clockwise okay so they are in the opposite direction so if so that is satisfied okay so this one will be satisfied and similarly we try to find now for p1 p2 so p4 is okay so this is p1 p2 and then what we do so this is the direction for p4 it's so this is the direction and for p3 it's this direction again opposite direction of both of them are on the opposite directions you return true as the condition is again so these are the conditions we check if p1 p2 is there and then p3 lies let's say p4 something like that one point lies on the other segment so else if d1 is zero okay so d1 is equal to zero when will that case we, we have never considered that so if p1 p3 p4 is this and your d1 which is the angle between p1 line segment p3 p1 and p3 p4 so if it is on p1 is on this line d will be zero isn't it because i'm making no change okay so this will be zero then if it lies on segment so this will be zero also if your p3 p4 is there and your p1 lies here then also your direction d will be zero but it should lie between this then only they will intersect so if d1 is zero and on segment so this p1 is in between this so when will that happen if the x coordinate of this p1 if is all between p3 and p4 and the y coordinate is also between p3 and p4 okay then it will be true so that is the on segment is pk between pi and pj and on that line so minimum of it should be greater than equal to minimum of xi xj and less than equal to maximum of xi xj it just tells that okay this point x coordinate is also between these two x3 y3 x4 y4 then your x1 will be between them and your y1 will also be between y3 and y4 okay that's what it tells so this way we see that these are the cases when the segments will intersect and this basically tells us are the segments intersecting each other so i hope you understand this thanks a lot